Hey everyone, this is Keith with Force Fiber Optics showing you how to use our Force F12 ribbon splicing machine with rollable fiber. Uh, AFL calls their spider fiber. I think some other manufacturers call theirs rollable fiber. You can see it's a ribbon, but the difference is with a regular ribbon, a regular piece of ribbon, the um, ribbon is joined 100% of the way. That glue is called matrix, I think is the technical term. It's on 100% of the fiber, so you can't pull those fibers apart without de-ribbonizing them. This is the rollable ribbon. It's still 12 fibers, but what, what happens to them is they are, uh, I think what they call it is side joined. They're not a solid 12 ribbons. What happens when they manufacture this is they glue the ribbons or the fibers together in a zigzag pattern and they they look like that they spread apart the reason for doing this is really size because when you put this in a cable that ribbon can now roll up and get down to the size that you get when you're working with loose tube fiber a really tight small cable but it does cause some challenges uh, when you're trying to do ribbon mass splicing with rollable fiber. Um, if you don't already have our latest uh, 12 count fiber holder and you're gonna start working with rollable fiber, I recommend that you contact us and we can get you set up with a set of our latest greatest. Now, how would I know whether I've got the latest or not? The latest version of our 12 count holders have tips that stick up that give you a much easier way to guide the fiber down into the center channel. And the center channel on our latest one uh, does have a little bit more depth to it. So what you do is you take this ribbon and I start at the end of the fiber holder and put it under my thumb and then I like to draw it back and get it approximately the, the distance I'm looking for. If you are not sure about what distance is appropriate, there's a if you can there's an arched line right there. It may be difficult to see, but there's an arched line on our thermal stripper right there that shows you you need to be within that quarter of an inch range. So I'm going to turn my thermal stripper on, and when I have it set to high heat, heater mode, high temperature, and there's two differences that you need to pay attention to working with rollable fiber versus regular ribbon. It's going to be more dusty or dirty, let's say. Taking the coating off the outer part of your fibers is just a little bit more difficult. The other thing that you have to pay attention to is you have to leave it in this thermal stripper two to three times as long as you normally would. Our thermal stripper has a three second audible beep but the heating element in here, the, the heat tray part of this, as long as these lights are on, it's heating. It beeps at three seconds, no matter what temperature you have it set to, but it does continue to heat. So what I like to tell people to do is close it, wait for the first beep, just barely open it and close it again. That resets it for another three seconds. And then once more, so we're giving it nine seconds in the oven. And then put a lot of pressure on the side that's holding the fiber holder and put a normal amount of pressure on the blade side and pull it very slowly and put a lot of pressure on the side with the holder. And what you'll get is this, okay? We got a good clean, uh, it took all the coating off the fibers but you can see in our thermal stripper how it kind of gunked that up a little bit. That's just what you're gonna get when you're working with rollable fiber. So I'm gonna set that to the side for now. And you know the three steps are strip it, clean it, cleave it. So we stripped it, now let's clean it. Use your normal cleaning fluids. Make sure no fibers are laying over top of each other. And then I'm gonna put it on our cleaver and from this point forward, there's not a lot of difference. It's it, the, really the main difference is that thermal stripper. So we got a good, I don't know if you can see that, 
good cleave on our fibers. We're gonna put them over here, and I already prepped one side just to save time. You lay them in there, put them in the machine, press set, and I got a bad cleave on that one side. That does happen because of, it doesn't happen often, but it can happen because of what we're doing with the thermal stripper. When you don't have one solid ribbon that's all joined together, it can tend to pull an uneven amount of pressure on the fibers. And what happens is it'll pull one out a little further than the others. So let's give that a quick one more try. We're going to do it three times. One, two, three. Put a lot of pressure with my right thumb and then a steady, slow pull gets it off of there. Strip it, clean it, and now we're gonna cleave it. Put it in here, and that looks great. So, to get the splice mode and the heat tray setting off the screen. It shows you that every time on our machine. It's the uh, round yellow circle, so you can look at your fibers. I've got a pause enabled on mine so that it pauses before it actually fuses them. If you wanted to zoom in on them, you double tap the screen, and then you would drag the screen up and down to view your fibers. You double tap again to zoom back out. Press set to arc. And once it gets done arcing, it'll show us our estimated loss numbers. Well, so we are at dot twos and a dot three, a dot twos on all of our fibers. Hope that helps you when you're working with rollable ribbon. Please contact us if you have any questions.